as for my identity in South Africa, I think that being in South Africa, being in Cape Town specifically, let me be clear, being in Cape Town specifically really forced me to kind of identify my position in this world, not in just the United States, in this world. Um, so to kind of give some context on my background, I'm an African-American. My family has been in America since, you know, since before the Civil War, essentially. And I think that going back to Africa after my family had been taken from there was a huge step in terms of grappling with both my identity as a Black person and as an American. I kind of like to tell people that there was always this tension in South Africa between like your Blackness and your Americanness, because like on one hand, you're coming from a country in America in which you are oppressed, in which you're essentially like at the bottom and in which you feel that your people have no like sort of not opportunities, but that it's very difficult for them to overcome the historical challenges that have been put against our race. But then you go to South Africa and you're an American. And that suddenly becomes the most dominant part of your identity. And it's an identity that is filled with so much privilege and difference from the rest of the world. Um, so much financial privilege. I mean, the dollar compared to the rand is like 18 to one or rather one to 18. So, you know, it really forced me to kind of grapple with both the feeling of being a member of an oppressed group at home, but then immediately flying on a plane for 14 hours and suddenly having to contend with all these privileges that were now sort of at my disposal. So I think it really forced me to kind of sit and like think about like what it means to be an American, what it means to be a Black American, what it means to be an African American. I think also it really kind of called into question like how my Blackness is seen by others. Um, interesting things that happened in Cape Town to me were that um, sometimes I would approach people and they would not think that I was black. They would think that I was colored, which is another racial identity in South Africa. Um, and they thought this for a number of different reasons, um, ones that I'm still not quite sure about. But people would ask things like I went to get my eyebrows waxed one day and the black woman who was doing it for me was like, I was wearing my hair like curly and out. She was like, is that your natural hair? And like, that's a question I would never get asked at home. Like, I mean, it was very clearly like, at least to me, like black hair. Um, so I feel like it also kind of allowed me to think a lot about like colorism and featureism and how those also play into not just how I'm seen in America, but also seen abroad. So yeah, that was kind of a lengthy answer, but it was a lot of like emotions that I was processing while I was in South Africa. But I feel like it's really allowed me to sit with my positionality and who I am as an individual, which I think is great. Thank you. I'm asking you to wrap up your experience in a few, a few sentences. So it is a lot. So, but thank you so much. That was beautiful.